Nothing beats the flavor of a fresh from the garden tomato, warm by the sun, plucked right from the plant and eaten in the garden. Don't let a lack of time, space, or energy prevent you from growing and enjoying a few or bushels full of homegrown vegetables. Instead, look for creative ways to include vegetables in your landscape, garden, or containers. Then follow these five simple steps for a successful vegetable garden. Add several inches of organic matter such as compost, peat moss, or aged manure to the top 6 to 12 inches of soil. This improves drainage and slow draining clay soils and increases water holding ability in fast draining sandy or rocky soils. Use quality potting mix when growing vegetables in containers. It should provide good drainage while retaining water. Incorporate Melorganite, a slow-release fertilizer, to the soil in your garden or potting mix in your containers. This goof-proof organic source of nitrogen meets the EPA exceptional quality standards and will help encourage plant growth without interfering with flowering and fruiting. Though all vegetables grow and produce best in full sun, some are more shade tolerant than others. Grow tomatoes, melons, cucumbers, beans, broccoli, and any vegetables you eat the flowers and fruit in full sun. They'll grow and produce best in eight hours or more of sunlight. Root crops like radishes and beets will do well in four to six hours of sunlight, while leafy crops of lettuce, spinach, and chard can still produce in as little as four hours of sunlight. Plant vegetables when the air and soil temperatures are right for the vegetables you're growing, and be prepared to protect the plants from unexpected frost. Floating row covers like Reme, Harvest Guard, and Grass Fast protect plants down to 24 degrees. Start and end your season with lettuce, peas, broccoli, and other cool season crops that can tolerate cool air and soil. And don't worry about a light frost at the end of the season. Many of these, like colored greens, kale, broccoli, and Brussels sprouts, taste even better after a light frost. And wait for the danger of frost to pass and the air and soil to warm before planting tomatoes, peppers, eggplant, squash, melons, and other warm season plants. These plants will suffer less transplant shock and start growing quicker when planted in a warm environment. Check the seed packets and plant tags for details on when and how to plant each herb and vegetable seed or transplant. Increase productivity with some simple planting and training strategies. Try succession plantings. Simply start with lettuce, radishes, or another short season cool weather plant. Once harvested, replant the area with onions or beans. After these are done, you can replant the area once again with a fall crop of lettuce, spinach, or radishes. Or try doubling your harvest with interplanting. Plant quick to mature crops like radishes and lettuce in between longer maturing plantings of cabbage, tomatoes, or eggplant. The short season vegetables will be ready to harvest just about the time the bigger plants are crowding them out. And try planting vegetables closer together in wider rows. You'll waste less space for pathways, leaving more room for planting. Make sure each plant has enough space to grow to maturity and that you can reach all planted areas to weed and harvest. Once planted, keep your plants growing and healthy with some basic care. Water new plantings thoroughly and often enough to keep the soil moist but not too wet. Reduce your maintenance by adding a layer of shredded leaves, evergreen needles, or other organic material over the soil surface. Mulching conserves moisture, suppresses weeds, and moderates soil temperatures. In midsummer, give your plants a nutrient boost with Melorganite, a slow release organic nitrogen fertilizer. It won't burn your plants even when the weather turns hot and dry. And pull weeds as they appear, watch for bugs and disease, and use the most eco friendly control options. Bug hunts and weed pulling contests can make these chores fun for all members of the family. And you may discover when vegetable gardening is a family activity, you might even get the most reluctant vegetable eaters munching on a few fresh carrots, beans, and maybe even broccoli. So break out the harvest basket, pull out your favorite recipes, and get ready to enjoy some homegrown flavor.